long ways? Like down your spine? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Yahoo! All right. Okay, good. Then we're going to start in a long way position. Now, Deb, when you're on that roller, if it feels like your head's going to hang off, just grab like a pillow or something that you can tuck under your head so your head feels good and supported. All right, set your roller down on the ground. We're going to start down on the ground right away. So tailbone to the end of the roller, you're going to scoot your bum way to the far end of the roller and then come down long ways on your spine. We want to make sure the head is supported and the tailbone supported. And then once you've got your way there, just give a second. Let everything settle in. Let your feet find a good foundation. Tune into the length of your spine. Start to notice the muscles that kind of hug around the spine that are now maybe softening around the roller. Tune into your shoulder blades and let them kind of soften and hug around the roller. And then just let your arms come out at your sides in any comfortable position so that you can just start to let the shoulder blades kind of soften down getting their own little chicken wing effect and just finding that nice little huggy sensation around the roller. Once you think you've found all of that, take three nice deep breaths here. Great, and then from here, we're gonna start some snow angel arms. So as you inhale, your arms just are gonna reach up alongside your ears. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down, maybe alongside your hips or just as far as feels good. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to bring them down. Awesome, one more just like that. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to lower down, keep them down just for a second, rearrange your shoulder blades as needed. And now we're gonna take palms facing down and start kind of like our swimming action that we did in our standing position. So you're just gonna start to reach one hand down towards the hip and one hand is gonna reach up and overhead. They'll kind of meet in the middle and then reach long away from each other. And think about that reach. As you lower your hand up and overhead and down by your hip, see if you can reach in that opposition of the fingertips Bring it back to center, find a little neutral, and then reach again, finding a little bit of activation through the arms and the fingers and the shoulders. Meet in the middle, reach and stretch long. Meet in the middle, reach and stretch long. Take a few more just like that. Just finding that nice stability on your roller. A little connection of the breath. Beautiful, take one more time each side or even yourself out. And then both hands are gonna meet in the middle, middle straight from the chest, palms are gonna face in towards each other, a soft bend in the elbows, finding that hug a tree motion. So arms are gonna open wide, you're gonna feel your shoulder blades kind of hug around the roller. And then with control, pulling the abdominal muscles in, pull the hands in towards each other. Open wide, squeeze the shoulder blades, bring it back in, firm up your center. Three more just like that, open wide and bring it in. Take a pace that feels nice to you that you can tune in and notice in between your shoulder blades, maybe even noticing the pectoral muscles or the armpit chest muscles. Last one here, open nice and wide, bring it back in and now relax your elbows and soften your fingers. And then we're gonna start to reach both arms up and overhead. We're gonna circle them around towards the hips and then back up and overhead. So we're gonna circle around in this direction about five more times. Last one in this direction. And then start to go the other way. So arms are gonna float out away from the hips alongside the ears up and overhead and then circle around. And then take that around about five more times here. Nice, last time around. And then you're gonna take the arms out in a position that your fingertips are facing down so you can help support. Now the upper body is gonna stay pretty stationary and your feet are gonna walk in so they're about hip width distance apart. We're gonna start with some alternating toe taps with the feet on the ground. So lift one knee up away from the floor and then switch to the other side and just start to find a little bit of stability on your roller. 
if at any point the stability isn't there for you when you're doing these big movements, you can always pull the abdominal muscles down, curl up the head, neck, and chest, and it might just help support your balance a little bit more, feeling those abdominal muscles get a little bit more engaged and having your eyes on the movement that you're doing. But if it feels comfortable to keep the head down, take one or two more taps of the legs or just even yourself out. And then when you're ready, we're gonna lift the right knee up, hang on tight, firm your abdominal muscles down towards the roller, pick the left knee up to meet. So both knees are in that tabletop position. Now we're gonna take our alternating toe taps here, keeping a nice stability in your center, slow it down, find that control first. And then once you feel like you've got it, then you can pick up the pace a little bit more, but make sure you're maintaining that nice stable base so you're not rocking all over the place. Nice, take one or two more lowers of the legs or just even yourself out. And then when you're ready, you're gonna float both feet back down to the ground. Take a nice big breath. And now we're gonna work with the right leg. So left leg is gonna stay on the ground. Arms are gonna stay out at your sides. Pick that right knee up, float the heel up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna take five leg lifts here. So you're just gonna lower the toes down towards the ground and lift it right back up. Four more, just like that. Just keep a firmness in your center. Last one on this side, lower it down, lift it up, bend the knee, set that foot down, and we're gonna take it right to the other side. Left knee's gonna lift up, toes float up to the ceiling, a little active toe, and then we're gonna lengthen long to the end of your mat and lift it right back up. Four more, just like that. Last one. Leg lifts up, bend the knee, float that foot down. We're gonna come off the roller with control. So roll to one side, make sure you're not falling off of your roller and then reposition the roller so that it's underneath the bend of your knees. And we're gonna move right into our little calf walk. So sit back into your hands, get yourself comfortable and then just start to walk your roller up to where the calves meet the backs of the knees and back down to the ankles. Nice, and then the next time you walk it down to where your ankles meet the calves, stay there, find a little softness just for a second. Let your legs be kind of heavy, but just make sure you're not hyperextending the knees. And then once you feel like you've found a good softness in the calves, just start a little swish of the toes side to side. It can be fast or slow, whichever pace feels like a better, better way to go for you. Nice, and then we're gonna twirl the feet. Both feet are gonna go in one direction. And then twirl your feet, both feet go the other way. Nice, and then walk the roller in just about two or three inches. Take a second to find that softness again and a little soft micro bend in the knee so you're not hyperextending. And then once you feel like you found it, a little swish side to side. Awesome, and then bring it back to center, twirl your feet in circles, go in one direction. And then twirl your feet in circles, go the other way. <clears throat> cool, and then when you're ready, walk it back in and this time find that nice meaty middle portion of the calf. So really that thickest part of your calves, give a second, let the muscle tissue kind of soften a little bit. And then once you feel like the muscle tissue is soft, super slow here, gently turn the toes side to side, just as slow as you can go, be mindful. Notice the musculature underneath your legs, notice the connection to the roller. Nice, one more turn of the toes side to side. And then as you bring it back to center, toes are gonna twirl in one direction. Awesome, and then toes twirl the other way. Beautiful, and then from here, you're gonna bend your knees, walk that roller in, you're gonna tuck it right under where the back of the thighs meet the knees. And then you're gonna take your hands, 
press into the top of your right thigh and just kind of mush it around. So we're gonna keep that super generous bend in the knee, just a little mush side to side, kind of working out of that hip socket. So there's this little tiny external rotation. Give one more little mush side to side and then take it over to the other leg. So both hands are just gonna press into the top of the thigh. You're gonna press down with just a light bit of pressure and then move your, let your arms do the work for you here. So let your leg be soft and you just have a little external rotation. You push with your hands, take one more little rock side to side, and then we're gonna move it on up and in. So bend your knees, pick them up just a little bit so you can tuck that roller in a little bit further and right back to that press. You're gonna press into the thigh muscle and then rock the tissue side to side. Let your arms do most of the work here. Awesome, one more little smush side to side and then take it to the other side. Hands on the thigh, press down and rock that thigh side to side. Beautiful, one more little rock side to side. And then you're gonna bend your knees a lot, pull that roller up and then set your butt right onto the roller, step your feet so that they're about hip or shoulder width distance apart. And then just start to find a little windshield wiper action with your knees. And then just make sure the roller feels like it's in a good position underneath you. So as you rock side to side, you can probably already start to feel that mus muscle tissue. So just make sure you're in a good position for your sits bones and your tailbone. And once you feel like you've got that good position, we're gonna take it a little bit further. So you're gonna rock side to side, rolling onto one hip and then the other. Nice, and now the next time you come over onto that right hip or the side of that right glute, stay there and just give a good roll up and down on the side of your glute. Nice, one more roll up and down. And then we're gonna roll down a bit. So we're gonna start to see if we can just kind of find the location of where your IT band, that nice strip of connective tissue that kind of holds your thigh in that thigh shape. So you're gonna find that and you're just gonna lean over a little bit and then roll right back off of it. Roll over, lean into it just a little bit and then roll off of it. One more, just like that, roll over and lean in just a little bit roll off of it. And now we're gonna take that all to the other side. So you're gonna start by finding the side of the left glute and then roll up and down. Nice, one more roll up and down. And then you're gonna stay at that lower point. So down where the butt meets the thigh. And then you're gonna find that IT band connection place. And you're just gonna roll and lean into it a little bit and then roll your way right back off. Lean in and pull yourself back. Lean in and pull yourself back. Nice, and then roll back onto your butt, sit in a comfortable position. Let your right leg extend long. You're gonna grab, hold the leg and start to twist and turn that muscle tissue. Like you're, tw like you're turning, a, I don't even know what. <laughs> like you're wringing out a dish rag, right? Really, you're just gonna kind of twist take it in one direction, take it up to the top of the thigh, and then back down to that knee connection point. And let the muscle tissue be loose. Let it move with your hands. You're gonna move the connective tissue, the skin, the fatty tissue, and the muscles. Take one more twist and turn up and down on this leg. And then we're gonna to switch to the other leg. So bend that right knee so you can anchor into it, soft and long on the left leg, grab that thigh muscle, and just start to twist and turn it. Walk it up to the top of your thigh and twist and turn down to where your knee meets the thigh. Nice, take one or two more twists and turns up and down. And then when you're ready, left foot's gonna step in, right knee is gonna stay in that bent knee position and we're just gonna let the knee drop open, pull it back up. Let your knee drop open, pull it back up. One more just like that, let the knee drop open. Pull it back up, cool. Now step your right foot nice and firm on the ground. And then we're over to the left knee. You're gonna let the left knee drop open. Pull it back up, let it open, pull it back up. Nice, one more just like that. Beautiful, and then step your feet back to that wider position and take a couple of good rolls across the tush just to kind of smooth everything out that we've just done. Awesome, take one more time each side or even yourself out. And then when you're ready, back to center, hands on the roller, press your way up away from the roller, three little tricep dips here. Bend your elbows, 
press your way back up. Bend your elbows, press your way back up. Only do this maneuver if it's safe for your shoulders, of course. Awesome, and then set your butt down to the ground. Send your legs long. We're gonna move the roller with, so you're gonna let it go be under your knees. Lower yourself down onto the ground, but we're gonna pull that roller with so that we can send it under our hips. So give yourself a second to just let your back find the floor. And then when you feel ready, lift your hips up, move that roller underneath your tailbone. So it's underneath the broad hip bones and not in the low back. There's a slight firmness in the center to keep everything supported. And then just let your hands find the side of the roller, hold it in place for a second. Let your hips soften, find a slight softness in your center, slight softness in your shoulders. And just for a second here, let gravity do a little work for you. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Great, and then keeping that nice handhold on the ends of the roller just so it stays in a nice good position. You're gonna pick the right knee up and you're just gonna circle that knee around in any amount of range of motion that feels good to you. Circle in one direction and then circle the other way, nice and big or nice and small, whichever feels like a better way to go for your hips. If you're feeling a lot of clicking and funky stuff going on, small might be the most beneficial. Take one more circle around. And then you're gonna reach your right hand up, hug that knee into the chest and see if it feels good to send your left leg nice and long. A little flex in the foot or a point in the foot, but just a light, light bit of action in that left leg so it feels active. Take one more big breath. Cool, and then slide the left leg in, send the right leg down. Hands are gonna hold the end of the roller just to keep it in a good position. You're gonna take that left knee, circle around in one direction. Again, you're gonna keep the range of motion that feels the most beneficial to you. And then when you're ready, switch directions, circle that knee the other way. Awesome, one more time around and then you're gonna hug that knee into the chest. Maybe think about reaching your left hand up, grab that knee. And then if it feels good, slide your right leg long so that you find a little stretch through the front of the right hip. And take a couple nice big breaths here. A little action down in that right leg so it feels like it's still staying alive and not just slumping into place. Take one more breath. And then if all of that is feeling good, you're gonna send your left leg down to meet the right leg. So both legs are gonna go nice and long. So you're gonna feel a stretch through the front of the hips, hopefully a bit of firmness in your center. So low back is getting a back bend, but not extreme and no shooting pain in the low back. If all of this is feeling good and you think you can support it, Stretch your arms up alongside your ears and take a nice long reach through fingers and toes, just finding that nice long line through the front of your body and take a couple nice big breaths here. Take one more breath. Cool, and then hands are gonna come down, find the ends of the roller, step your feet in. We're gonna lift the butt up, move that roller out from underneath you, let your butt settle down onto the ground. And then once you touch down, just give a second. Let your spine relax, take a nice big breath. Cool, and then move that roller out from underneath your legs. We're moving on up to the shoulders. So reposition yourself in any way that feels appropriate to you. But we're gonna place that roller underneath the shoulder blades. Knees are gonna be bent hands behind the head, and we're gonna get our roller crunches in. So inhale as you lean back, and exhale as you pull the abdominal muscles in, lift up. Inhale to lean back, and exhale to lift up. Awesome, take three more just like that. Nice, and then the next time if you feel like it, lean back, into a bigger back bend, just let your whole upper back body kind of round over the roller. Elbows can be heavy. Just make sure it's a maneuver that you can control and come out of. Let your head drop back just as far as feels comfortable. Take one or two more breaths. Nice, and then with a control from your center, lift yourself back up. 
lift your butt up and start to roll the shoulders. A nice big maneuver from the bottom of the shoulder blades all the way up to the top of your shoulders. Let your hands stay behind the head if that feels the most supportive, but if it feels better to let your arms move with you, free them up. Just make sure you keep a nice firmness in the back of your neck so you're not slumping or creating too much tension in the front of your neck to do that work. If at any point your neck feels uncomfortable, just bring the hands back behind the head. But if it feels good to move your arms a little bit, let them move with you. Nice, take one or two more up and down. And then when you're ready, we're gonna roll ourselves to a point where it finds right in line with the armpit. And then we're gonna roll onto one side. So the armpit is on top of the roller and your arm is kind of hugging nice and close to this top side of the roller. Bend your knees into any position that feels good. Top hand is gonna to reach towards the palm. And then we're gonna open into a little twist and let your gaze follow your hand. So look back with it, bring it back to center, palms to touch, and then reach back and find a little twist. Beautiful, bring it palm to palm. Reach back, look back. Palm to palm. Reach back, look back. Beautiful, one more time like that, palm to palm. And then as you reach back this time, stay there for an extra breath or two, just finding that nice twist, noticing the breath as you stay in that twisted position, notice your head, notice your neck. Lovely, and then when you're ready, bring it back palm to palm. And then we're gonna bring the hand to the top side of the ruler, sit yourself up into a zigzag position. So one leg in front, one leg out to the side and right into our mermaid. So we're gonna roll out, top hand's gonna to reach up with a little bit of strength in the side body, lift your way up and take a little counter stretch. Beautiful, hand to the roller, roll yourself out with control. So we stay long and lean in the side body, lift up nice and strong and counter stretch. Nice, one more just like that. Cool, and then this time we're gonna rotate both hands to the roller so we get a little bit of a rotation. Walk that roller out to any depth that feels good to you. So you can fold over in that sort of twisted position, find a little length through the arms, take a nice big inhale. Slow exhale. And then with control, bring yourself up. And from here, we're gonna swing the legs around and take it to the other side. So you can flip over if that feels like a better way to go, but we're gonna work into those lats again. So we're gonna lean the side body onto the roller, armpit running along the top, and the top arm is gonna lay nice and close. And then once you've got that, get your legs arranged in a position that feels good. Top hand is gonna find the palm, open up into a little twist and let your head follow your hand. Bring it back to front and then open back into that twist. Nice, three more just like that. Just find a nice rhythm that feels good to you. Cool, and then the next time you reach back, stay there for an extra breath or two. Just finding a little opening through the front of the body, turning your head, noticing your breath in that sort of twisted position. It might have a little bit of a constriction of the breath. And then when you're ready, bring that top hand up <clears throat> and then push yourself up into a zigzag seat. So reposition your legs, roll her out to the side and then right into our mermaid. So we roll out, top hand reaches up and then with control, we bring it back up and take a little counter stretch. Beautiful, roll it out and bring it back up. Roll it out and bring it back up. Nice, and then both hands are gonna rotate towards the roller, find that rotation first and then walk it out to a depth that feels good to you. So it might be close near your body or it might be reaching out nice and long, totally up to you here. Take a nice big inhale, nice slow exhale. Awesome, and then when you're ready, pull it back up and in with control. We're gonna find our way into a tabletop position. So rotate yourself around and then move that roller right on up and in underneath your belly so that we can lay the thighs onto the roller. So we're just gonna lay those thighs onto the roller, staying off the hip bones, elbows and forearms down, toes to the ground. And we're gonna just take a nice 
big generous roll from the tops of the thighs down to where the thighs meet the knees. So you might let your toes drag with you. So your arms, your elbows and your forearms might help make that maneuver really nice and fluid. Keep a slight firmness in your center so your low back is supported. Nice, take one more good roll up and down. And then we're gonna set ourselves back into that tabletop position, move that roller on underneath the knees. So kneecaps off the roller, we're gonna find the shins. And then once you feel like you've got a good position, nice firm belly, broad shoulders, pull the knees towards the chest and then push the knees away. Pull the knees in and push away. Nice one, we're just like that. Beautiful, and then set yourself back away from the roller. Roller is gonna come out in front of you. Big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat. Sit your butt back into your heels. Walk the roller long, hands on the roller and just find a little bit of a dip of the chest. So let your chest drop down, let your head drop down between your arms. Take a nice big breath. Cool, and then when you're ready, you're gonna walk that roller in so your elbows can be soft. If you're wearing glasses, it might feel good to take them off, just put them somewhere safe and off to the side. We're gonna rest our space between our eyebrows right onto the roller. So first find that space and then just let it soften and rest on the roller. And just take a couple of nice big breaths here. With that space right between your eyebrows on the roller, you're gonna draw little tiny one inch circles in the air with your nose. So you're gonna keep that gentle bit of pressure and then just draw tiny, tiny little circles in one direction. And then draw those tiny circles in the other direction. Nice, and then let it come to stillness. We're gonna lift the head slightly and then reposition so that we're finding kind of that middle space of the forehead. So just directly on the forehead. And then once you found it, start to find a little bit of a gentle rock side to side. Nice, take one more turn of the head side to side. And then when you're ready, gently lift your head up away from the roller, lift yourself up. If you were wearing glasses, go ahead and put them back on. And then we're gonna start to find our way into a standing position. So if you like, you'll take it through a down dog. So you're gonna keep your hands on the roller, curl your toes under, make sure that roller is stable underneath you, lift your hips up nice and high, walk your feet into a position that you're making a nice little upside down V shape with the body. If that feels good and the roller is stable underneath you, take a couple of pedals of the legs here just to work into the backs of the legs. Take one or two more pedals of the legs or even yourself out. And then with super soft knees, walk your feet a little bit in, walk that roller a little bit in. And then with the little steamroll press, you're just gonna press into the roller, walk it up towards your ankles, press and roll it down to the toes. Press and walk it up to the ankles, press it down to the toes. One more, just like that. Press, walk it up to the ankles, press it down to the toes, walk it off of your feet, leave the roller on your ground. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll on up to standing. Right foot's gonna step onto the roller with a nice soft roll. We're just gonna roll the bottom of the foot. Cool, and then let your knee drop in slightly, find your instep, give a smaller gentle roll to the instep. Beautiful, and then let the knee drop out, find the blade edge of your foot and then work from the pinky toe, to the edge of your heel. Beautiful, bring it back to center. Give one good last soft roll to the bottom of the foot. And then when you're ready, step that foot down, left foot's gonna find the roller and a soft roll up and down. Beautiful, and then let the knee drop in, find your instep so it's a smaller roll. Nice, and then let the knee drop out, find the blade edge of your foot and it's a bigger roll from the pinky toe to the edge of the heel. Awesome, and then bring it back to center and soft roll. 
Nice work, set that foot down, both feet nice and even on the ground. Take a nice big breath, reach your arms up, bend your knees a little bit, hinge from your waist, hands are just gonna touch the roller. You're gonna press into the roller, straighten your legs just as much as feels comfortable. Let your head drop down, take a nice big breath. Amazing, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll on up to standing, take a couple of good shrugs of your shoulders. You guys are awesome. Nice work today, woo hoo hoo. I'm so proud.